Hey everybody, my name is Sarah. I am with Booksy and Button Designs, well, creator behind Booksy and Button Designs, and I'm also an independent Jock Couture designer, and still very new to that, so in the future we'll see some videos of that stuff. Um, but tonight I figured I had to take the plunge and do a video. I'm extremely shy by nature. Uh, this is a very big deal for me and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, but I thought I would come on and do a little project. I've had a lot of people ask me about my bows. I get a lot of comments on my bows, so I thought I would start with a little project that I'm comfortable with because I never have a plan. I have ideas, but I never have plans. I always just wing it, so um, we're going to go ahead and make one of these little houses tonight. Um, minus the, the edging here, but we're just going to make one that's a little bit similar, different colors. We'll put some color in there for some pizzazz. Uh, this here is what we're going to start out with. Um, I have my husband cut me these, so we have the wood pieces. Oh. This is my first video, so please be gentle. I'm very, very nervous. I can hear my heart pounding. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna start with wood. I've got all of my ribbons. I use a bajillion ribbons in all of my bows. Twine, Baker's twine. Um, I found these cute little sprays the other day, so I'm gonna use these in there somewhere. And then some greenery. And I might throw a pop of pink in there or something. Maybe like these little pink berries. And maybe a cute little pink flower or something I might throw in there. But we'll see. Depends on how I feel. So we'll go ahead and start with... Um, I'm going to put paper on my board tonight. Usually I just paint them, but I'm going to do paper. But I need to cover my, my surface here. I need to buy a few things from my craft room so I don't want to get paint all over and everything else. I will apologize in advance. I have two dogs. Neither one behave very well, but same I hear barking once in a while. I'll try to keep them at bay, but no promises. Okay, let's move this down. We'll begin here. Uh, let's see. I see with my first video, I have no idea what's going to be good and what's not, but it's trial and error for me. All right. So first, oh, the paper that I'm going to use is this stuff here. This is Buffalo Check. I love this stuff. And we are going to start out by uh, just cutting it out. We'll do some Mod Podge. <clears throat> we'll trace it. Yeah, I've been waiting for months to do a video and I've just been too nervous to do it. So this is a very big deal for me. And I love this chalk couture stuff and I am so excited about it. I can't wait to get my first order so that I can start uh, making some goodies. Well that's not going to work. I did that wrong. It's got to be not crooked. There we go. A little bit about me. I have been crafting for a little over a year and I actually started with wreaths. I love making wreaths but um, people in my area don't want to buy them. So I have a bajillion wreaths around my house 
don't know what I'm gonna do with them. They've literally taken up one whole sparrow. I'm sure my husband loves that. Probably because I put hooks all over the walls. Not that he really cares, but... Yeah, I made wreaths for, well, I don't know, almost a year, and they just weren't really good sellers for me, and they're kind of expensive to make, in my opinion. Of course, that's my own fault, because I like to use the fancy stuff, so... Um, and I also make rag bows. I love making rag bows, but... Uh, I had to just kind of broaden my horizons and do something a little bit different, so that is why I started making home decor, and I love it so much. Alright, so I'm going to paint this first because I don't want raw wood all over, so let's paint that. Alright, let's see. And truth be told, I know nothing about videos. Nothing. I just know how to hit the record button and that's it. So when it comes time to doing lives, I, I'm going to be lost. I'm going to be lost, you know what? And I do use acrylic paint and uh, chalk paint. I love chalk paint, just so I think it's got better coverage, but I'm so new at all of this that I'm still learning, so I always like to get ideas from others who've been doing it longer than I have. I'm really grateful right now that my dogs are sleeping. I fed them supper and prayed that they would go to sleep for a little bit so I could do this. I sat here for half an hour looking at the record button. I even had to walk away for a second because I was so nervous. But gosh, we all have to start somewhere, so. All right. Paint the sides here. Oh. Oh. Not sure what that was. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? These houses are so fun to make. Thank goodness my husband supports me like he does and makes me all kinds of wood things so that I can craft them. I just ask him, tell him my ideas, and he he gets the wood for me and he cuts them out. He is very, very sweet. I never thought in a million years I'd do a video. When it comes to lives, I don't know what I'm going to do, though. <laughs> do the basket case, I know it. I'm hoping someday I can do this full time because I so enjoy crafting, creating goodies. I do sell a lot of my products at a local boutique. I was very blessed that um, they reached out to me and asked me to sell my stuff there. 
I almost couldn't believe it actually, but very grateful. All right, I'm gonna dry this side. I just bought that dryer and it doesn't even work, I swear. And I know that all my videos are going to be long because I have no idea how to edit. Or shrink or trim. I don't know. So, when you come to watch my videos, if you do, they're going to be long. I can craft it, but I have technology, I don't get any of it. Oh, and the benefits of living with a bunch of animals is there's cat here, dog here, and my paint. I bet I've watched 30 videos in the last week of, well I watch videos all the time of crafters, but to get, just to help my nerves, everyone says, you can do it, you can do it, but can I? Pretty excited to get my chalk couture stuff so I can craft a little more. We're gonna dry this side now. No. What happened? I hope you can. There we go.
my hair. Okay. <clears throat> I cleaned my craft room today and I have no idea where anything is. So, actually, let me take this down. I know that this video is going to be a hot mess. And truly, it's going to take practice for me because I've never done one before. I don't even think I videotaped my kids growing up. Although I have videotaped my animals. They're my babies. I have two dogs and three cats. I have Marley. She's my beagle. And then I have Dave. Dave. He's my rescue. And he's... He's got no manners. Zero manners. Um, I've had to replace my flooring. I've had to... Well, our, our couch is ruined, but I'm not getting a new one until... Um, he's past the stage, and even though he's two, he's still not past the stage. And I have three cats. I have Boomer. He's the boss. He's my orange tabby. And then I have Miko and Izzy. So I live in it. I live in an ark. And two kids and my husband. And thank God for my husband because I wouldn't be able to do half of my stuff if it wasn't for him because he does help me out a lot. Let me take some shopping. All right, so we're gonna modge podge this on. I always start in little sections because I feel like my Mod Podge dries on me before I put my paper on. It takes me forever to do everything though. It does. Everything. Over there. Are we doing a video? Yeah, we can. Just be careful because it's snowing out. Doing a video. It's not a live one. Oh god, leave him alone. He's being a good boy. Oh gosh. Yeah, don't say his name or he's gonna wake up and terrorize us. Alright, so we're just gonna do the bottom part here. I suppose I could use, maybe that's why I use a small brush. I should use a bigger one. My paintbrushes that are losing all the hair. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Well, I think I cut it 
wrong or I put it on wrong. Alright, hold on here. I need to get my mat. Can you hear me? There's one cat. It's Nico. This is why it takes me so long to do everything, because everything's got to be so precise. Except for my bows, and those would turn out the best. I'm kind of messy with my bows, but so many people compliment on them, and I'm so grateful for that. I like to, I like to inspire people, and that's the main reason I did this, because who knew in a million years somebody would want me to do a bow video? All right, so we're a little bit crooked right here, which was gonna bug me, so we're gonna put a little bit of wax on there. In fact, where is my wax? Oh. <clears throat> All right. Oh boy. Usually I'll use my finger, but this stuff here, I don't know where I bought it from, but it's Kills Dark Wax. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. Love it. I'll just put some on the edges. Still not happy about this edge. to darken it up a little bit more. Not sure how many people would notice it, but I do. Then I'll just put some kind of wherever. My videos will never be perfect. I know I'll be interrupted. Or I'll have to answer a kid's question. Or tend to a dog. Alright, so here's... This is why I like using my finger. It just seems to work better on the edges. I throw a little bit on the side here just to kind of soften it up from the white. I think I can live without wax in my crafting. Not 
still not happy with this edge, but we're going to put a big old bow on there anyway. All right, so far, see how it's waxed on the edges? Okay. This is what I mean, I never have a plan. Just an idea. Um, what we're gonna do, just get that out of the way. This is the Bodabra. I'm sure many of you have one, or something similar maybe. I cannot do my bows without it. It holds it all in place. Um, I honestly have no idea how I'd make a bow without it. I found this yesterday at Hobby Lobby. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And it probably seems kind of big for that house, but we're going to still do it. And that's another thing. My bows are obnoxiously big, but I balance them out in my project, so usually my bow is my focal point. That's why they're so big. Alright, so I usually take a twine, or you could use a pipe cleaner or a piece of yarn. Anything like that. You put it in there. You just put it in there like that. And let's see here. I'm gonna get this all cut out so or all the plastic off. Oh. This one is a little heart one that's cute. And this is just a plain black. Why? Maybe not. Oh, this is always a struggle for me. Because I don't want to cut my ribbon. There we go. Alright. Oh, this is really... I don't know if I'm going to use that. We'll see. Um, and then I got this little black and white polka dot. And then I got this little, oh, this little shimmer stuff here. I shop at the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Occasionally I'll go to Joann's or Michael's, but Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree is my favorite. And we don't have the nicest Dollar Trees around here. To be honest, whenever I see people post stuff about Dollar Tree, I'm like, oh, that's so jealous. So jealous. Okay, um, let's see, we're going to start with the big one here. Yeah, so this one here only has one ribbon, and that's about as plain as I'll ever go. I typically do all kinds of stuff in there, so. We'll see what we come up with. Whenever I do my bows, obviously I start with the widest stuff on the back, but um, I usually don't really use white stuff to be honest with you because I like full bows, but I like lots of little, little, um, little ribbons in it like this size, so, but I had to have this. Loved it. So when it's one-sided, like all my... Most of my ribbons I use, like this one has got the polka dot and then the plain side, and we have to do some twisting, but I'll show you how to do that. This one here doesn't matter, so we're just going to put it in there, and I'm only going to do one loop on each side because it's so big, so. And I never measure. 
I guess every time. I don't measure anything, nothing. Unless I'm creating with like paint sticks or something, then I'll, then I'll measure. But. Okay, so we'll do one loop on each side. And another thing I do is is I usually leave one tail up and one tail down because I, I don't want my bows to go all down. That's just my preference though. Just my preference. So you see how it kind of looks like an X there. All right. Dave is awake and I'm afraid. Hopefully my son keeps them at bay. All right, let's see here. <laughs> I feel like I need something a little bit. Hold on a second here. I need to get better. All right. I just feel like I need something else. Oh, look at that one. That one's really pretty. This one has the same on both sides. So I'm not going to worry about twisting. So just stuff it in there like that. Push it down. Make a loop. Whatever size loops you want. I'll probably just do one loop on this one also. Okay. All right. Now, I'll probably do, oh, I don't know about this black stuff. This is really funky. Let's try it and see what happens. It's not wired, but it's almost like that stuff that you curl with the scissors for presents. It feels like that. All right, well, we'll try it and see what happens. So same thing. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I'm not a fan. We're taking it out. I don't like how it sits in there. I'm kind of sad I needed a black ribbon. That's okay. All right, so we'll go, let's see here. Let's do the black and white checker. And honestly, I use between five and six different ones mostly. Okay, so this one has, obviously one side is polka dot, the other side is plain, so obviously, you know, you'll lay it down, but I, I twist mine before I lay it in there, because you want this part to be the plain side. I'm sure most of you know this, but just explaining it as I go. Um, and then we're going to twist it again, making sure your loops are the size you want them. And the last one you don't have to twist because I'm not making another loop, but if you were making another loop, you'd, ha you'd have to twist it, so. All right. <clears throat> and like I say, I measure nothing. I just hope for the best. Okay. I think. Okay, well you see how I have them both down here on this one? Again, I, I like mine at an X, but sometimes they both land at the bottom and I don't really care. I just keep going. As long as I have a couple at an X, I'm happy. Okay, so then I'm going to do another burlap in here. 
And I'm going to do twine. And I'm going to do the thicker twine. I've got this really thin stuff. And then i got the thicker stuff. I'm going to use the thicker stuff. And just put it in there. And do whoop. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see this. Like, I'm just putzing here, and I'm hoping that you guys can see this. Lord have mercy on me. It's my first video. All right. And because I like tails, I cut after each loop on my twine so that I can um, have another tail. And this one I'm going to make sure is up there. Make another one. <clears throat> so, so far it looks like this. Can you see that? Gosh, I can barely see. I know I'm going to have to get my glasses eventually. But I don't want to. Alright. Now we're going to do... I think we'll do... I was going to use that, but I don't really like it with this pattern, so you see, it just, I don't know. I'm sure it looked fine, but we're going to skip on that one. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. Look at, there's black hearts and then white hearts. Oh, I love that. I'm doing the black on this side. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. So this one I don't have to twist because, oh wait. If I want the black hearts, I am going to have to twist. Oh dear. All right. All right. Why am I having such a struggle here? So you see how the black loops are on the outside? I twisted the center. Sometimes I have to hold the center because these aren't wire ribbons, so they're a little bit harder to maneuver for me anyway. And I swear, for those of you who want bow videos, I let me get better at my videos and then I swear I will post one that probably makes more sense than this one. I just have to get this first one out of the way and I'll be fine. All right. Oh, this is gonna be cute. I can tell already. Okay. I also have black, this is my favorite stuff right here. I use Baker's Twine for everything. Now I'm gonna do this, look at that little silver stuff. How cute. All right, let's throw that in there. Wait. I was thinking about putting a pop of color in. I think I'm going to do this Baker's Twine. It's pink. Pink and white. Because I might want to throw... I'm going to throw a pink flower in there somewhere, I think. Or a pink... One of these pink balls. Which are glittery and fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do the pink. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. We're going to put a few in here. This is going to be cute. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I always like black, white, and pink anyways together. Um, I have to make things sometimes that aren't my style because I want to keep stuff. But I have to be careful with my stuff I make because Dave eats it. Okay. Oh, yes, fun. Maybe I'll do one more. One more loop. 
you know, here's what I should have done. I'll show you. I'm taking the pink out because I'll show you what I'm going to do. Save those for later. This is usually how I do it. I don't know why I didn't this time. Alright. So I'll take these two together, like the black and white and the pink, or twine, and then I'll do them together because it saves you time. And then I just, you know, I just make the little bows. Oh, jeez. So then you just put her in there. That. Gosh, how cute is that? And even sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put one strip in there, just like that. Cut it, just so we get a little extra tail. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay. Oh yeah, and the silver we wanted to do. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Um Okay. We'll do one more loop in here. Stuff. Oh my. Ah, cute. How much you want to bet I do this whole video and nobody can hear me because I'm talking so quietly? Oh, I swear. I swear. I know that's what's going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this is what we have so far. You can see it. All the little loops. And then I take my twine or whatever, if it's yarn or a pipe cleaner. Twine works best for me. And then I just tie it. And I go down here. And I don't do it too tight, just tight enough to hold it together and then I'll pull it out. And then I just kind of smash it down while I tie it tight. And then I'll really pull it tight. And I usually wrap it around once to the back. And then I go around the front again. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. Okay. And then I tie it in the knot in the back. And usually I'll cut this. Oh, wait. Actually, when I make my houses, I make these longer to wrap around it, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. So my bows always look like this when I'm done. But here, this is what I do to my bows to make them just puff 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 out is I take every one of those loops and I just kind of pull them as I hold the center so you don't pull your loops to make them bigger um, you know just see how I just kind of grab them all and, and I even pull them towards the center but I fluff them too after I have them on my project so when we get to that point I'll show you um, let's see here let's grab our house I don't know I always like my bows on the side I never do the center I don't know why You see how flat, do you see how flat this one is right here? This is the key, in my opinion. Just puff them up. 
as much as you can. All right, so I am gonna cut these, but I need to, what I'd like to do is put, um, I always like to put something around the house. Um, hold on. I'm going to put this piece around it. Let's see. <gasps> That's perfect. Oh my gosh. I don't think we could get any more perfect than that. But I am going to cut this edge off because you see this one here is, this is like the edge. It's just cut that off. So it's the same. Oh, that's cute. Stop. Okay. I always have to be extra. All right. Oh my gosh. I didn't know. Okay. Hold on. I have everything all wrapped up down there. Gosh. I'll well, just hot glue a little bit on here. I burn myself all the time. I never learn. I never do. I even have those finger protectors, but my fingers are so big that they don't fit on there. That is cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And now this piece, I'm just going to. Oh, I was gonna. It's shredding. I can't use that. I tried to use everything. But we'll use one of these. And we'll put that around there. See how cute that is? It's just got that little extra dimension. Okay. And then I'll make a little bow in the back because I always want it to look cute in the back too. Okay, so that's even the back, and there's the front. I love that. Okay, now we'll put this on here. I wonder if I should. Hmm. Because so I thought about putting a tag on here. I thought about it. Okay, I don't think I will this time. But I am gonna glue this on there. And hold. Okay. 
see, this is why I like to have the X for the bow because it's just kind of in every direction. Bow in every direction. Okay. Uh, this, let's see. I'll cut that off. Part of the Booksy and Button name is, I love buttons, I love buttons. I put buttons on most of everything. So I always put a button for my center. And all these ones, like this one, I usually cut these at an angle. No, oh, that one's, there we go. I always have to go in and trim them all. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god, almost. Okay. That is a cute bow. That is a cute bow. See. How cute is that bow? I love it. This loop may have got a little big, but we can shorten it. There we go. So, okay. Let's get our center on there. Yeah, that loop may get up big. Okay. This is my button bin. And I'm gonna do a black one, I think. Um, or gray. I think black. Oh, here's one, perfect. Yeah. Okay. But here, see now, I'm not happy completely about my bow. So I'm gonna separate some of those. See, everything just has to kind of stand up. Okay. Oh my gosh. that little button does it. Okay. Cute. All right. Okay. All right, so now, and this is gonna be a shelf sitter, so. And I do put, I do put one of these on here in the back, just so that it, doesn't tip over and but I can't do it in the beginning of my project otherwise it gets in my way so I do that at the end all right this spray I tell you I don't know if I'm gonna use it but it might be too much burlap in there so let's do some greens I'll do some of these greens Um, hmm. Oh, <laughs> I 
it just pulled off of there. Okay. I think we only need four. They're kind of different shades too, so I'll use the green, or the dark and light one. They're two different shades. Cute. Up here. I always put them in placement first before I decide to glue them down to make sure they look good. Hmm. I don't know if I like that green one for this one. Oh man, let's see here. Do these. These are, I like these better, I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. I do. And I just, I'm just cutting the end off a little bit. It's a little bit tall when you stuff it in there, so. Yeah, that's going to be better. See. Okay. Um, hmm. Ooh, I don't know if I like the pink flower. I don't like it. We're going to take that out of there. That's okay. Hey, maybe, let's see. My original plan was this. Let's try one of these. That might be better. Yeah, that's much better. That's cute. See? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let's put our greens in. I might do... Two greens on top. Yeah. Definitely. I usually do two on top and one on the bottom. And then just put some glue on the end of it. Stuff it in there. Glue it. Okay. Put this one over here. I might have to turn that over. There we go. Yeah, see, cute. I love that. I love these houses. I could make them all day long. And then we'll do one green on the bottom. I'm going to cut, it's just kind of a long end, so I'm going to cut that. And then we'll do one down here. I forgot to cut these ends. That one, okay. Yeah, that's cute. See, two on the top, one on the bottom. Okay, and then, you know what I forgot to do? I usually like to splatter uh, some paint on here, kind of like this one. See how I've got splatters of paint on there? Oh, they all can be different. But I will show you what I also do. All right, let's put these pink things in here. Oh, 
Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's where I want it, right there. Okay. Just a little. Oh, man. I love it. Look at that. Oh, I love that. But we are going to put another little thing in there. These came from the Dollar Tree last year. And I usually don't do glitter because I don't like glitter. But these kind of have like a colored glitter on them. They're cute. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. I need to find the right placement. I think I need to cut cut the end down. See, the end is too long. I'm going to cut that down. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter now. Okay. That is so cute. <gasps> More. I'm surprised my husband allows me to use a glue gun because I've burnt myself so many times. Okay. Do you see that? So cute. Huh. I'm going to cut some of these ribbons down a little bit shorter. So cute. Yeah, that's kind of springish. Yeah, that turned out really cute. Okay, now. This idea came from Tracy from Country Charm by Tracy. She's one of my favorites. She's so inspiring and so, you can just tell she's just a kind person. But I love her style and she has this idea. And I use it because I love it. But I just go around the edges and just kind of draw some little squigglies. And I probably should use white. Mm. What should I use? Um, I better use white. It's a paint pen. See, you have to get the paint to the tip here. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So we'll just go around and do some little doodles. See what I mean at the bottom? Just some real squiggly little lines. I should have done this first. But like I said, I never have a plan. I just go with it. And then I'll add some dots in here. because I didn't splatter. Just a few. It could be a shelf sitter or you could put a rope on it and be a hanger. You could do that too. Yeah. See, it'd be cute as a little hanger, too. It's all in what you prefer. I love that. Okay. And then I just fluff up my bow. Perfect. I think that's it. I promise that my next video will be better. But for those of you who watch, thank you very much. Um, and I hope that you come back. But this is the final project. How cute did that turn out? This is the inspiration that I did this one here I put um, paint sticks on for the roof but I didn't do it to this one I usually don't do it to any of mine but I tried it on this one it turned out really cute um, but it was kind of a bugger anyways thank you all for watching I sure appreciate it um, and I hope to be back soon with another video a better one Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.